Hi everyone, I'm Dale Harris and today I'm going to conduct a cable, capacitance and true bypass buffered bypass test involving various sets of effects pedals, patch cables and all being played via a Fender USA Rosewood Telecaster just a standard American type Telecaster, just it's got the rosewood body and it goes through a 10 foot Klotz cable and that's where I made the initial test. Now I had a choice of amps, I could have used a valve amp uh, but I chose for this test just to go a little bit unusual so I've used a little Marshall MG 30 DFX combo that's got a, a Celestian 10 inch speaker in it. Uh, hopefully that will bring out some of the highs and just it being a simple test. Uh, so the initial test was done with that Telecaster with the 10 foot Klotz cable, so quite a high quality cable there. So what I did, I recorded it all via a Ditto, one of those TC Ditto loopers, and then I played it back into the amp in various pedal combinations. There are uh, 12 sound clips in total and you'll hear basically the 10 foot which is just a very very basic um, recording and then you'll hear I'll use a 20 foot whirlwind cable famed by the company for them saying that they're not the the greatest high quality or there was, there's there's virtually no difference in ca cable quality or the rest of it so I thought it'd be funny to use a whirlwind cable and I also used a, a 20 foot planet waves cable as well uh, as well as uh, some more clots cables so with every clip you have to bear in mind that it starts with that chain where it was recorded with a, a 10 foot clots cable for the most part I use SAS Evidence Audio patch cables until near the end of the test where I decided just to switch to those multicoloured short patch cables that are between sort of four and six inches long. So um, anyway I hope you enjoy the test um, and you know obviously you, want, you might want to comment on, on what you think the differences are. Um, I know it's not always a fair test to do it the way I've done it. I've just basically taken a cross selection and I, it's really for me but I thought I'd record the test. The amp was, it was recorded directly into the, into a, a Zoom sound recorder via two SM57 microphones placed very very close to the cone. So they're pretty central to the cone. Um, obviously because there's two of them they're not quite centre. I don't like them centre anyway they sound a bit hard so they're slightly spaced a little bit further out but they're fairly near the speaker grill so you've got a quite a close proximity sound. So here's the test and uh, I hope you enjoy.
So, phew, that was uh, long-winded. I know this one is for the geeks, really, but some people are interested in this sort of thing, so it might be worthwhile. I was just doing it just to see what I, if I could perceive a difference in the sound. And it's not always the combinations of pedals that you saw are, that are not really the ones that I use in, the, in, in that way. I just sometimes use one or two of those in, in a different setup, but I just thought it would be interesting, though some of them are the culprits, the, the boss pedals are getting quite a bad rap at the moment, so I thought, well, it's worth putting boss pedals in there and then putting a few high quality type pedals uh, and then different cable lengths. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the test. Sorry it was a bit geeky, but there you go. Please remember to like and subscribe if you found this useful, because obviously the more people that like and subscribe, it sends me a message that you, you enjoy these kind of things. Feel free to comment. Try and keep it clean, the comments, and, and it's not a comprehensive test, otherwise we'll be here forever and it'll be just so boring. So I hope maybe some of you have learned something, I don't know, or if there are any other suggestions of, of things that you'd like to see or tests that you'd like me to conduct, and I'll, I'll do my best to, to see what I can do in the time that I have. So, but as I say, I did this purely out of curiosity, really, as regards what, what leads to use and what what pedals to use and the rest of it and what the effect of it all has. And finally, all the pedals were not on, obviously. They were just off and just the cables were just running through the pedals. So there was no, obviously there was no extra influence on the sound. And obviously you take into account that the video itself is rendering and the sound quality is being compressed and the rest of it through YouTube. So uh, just bear that in mind as well, but um, it's just the conditions that we have. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, I'll see you soon.